Hey guys, Sonics here, welcome back to a brand new hunt, and this time you join me for another Generation 1 shiny hunt. And if you've never seen one of these before, well, prepare to get your mind blown quite simply. Um, so yeah, I'm actually here in a Japanese copy of Pokemon Blue. This is a Pokemon Blue, uh, this is the Pokemon Blue that the West never got. It is the definitive version of Generation 1 prior to Yellow, but we never got this version. But I'm here on... I Route 18, I think it is, just outside of Fuchsia. And I'm going to be talking to this guy, and I'm going to be targeting a Generation 1 Tauros. And Tauros is, I believe, maximum 5% in Gen 2. And uh, basically what you do is trade it for a Persian. It is an exclusive hunt to this game, I think. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it is. Wait, no, that's my boss. That I know that's Persian, there we go. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to be trading my Persian uh, for a Tauros, and I basically get a set of uh, values on the Pokemon, and I'm going to be targeting these. So I'm looking for HP 135 uh, or 143, attack is uh, very, very varied, defense 110, speed 125, and special attack 85. Uh, with one of these stat combinations, with an eight one uh, one in eight one nine two chance, so full odds, I will send it over to a generation two game, and there's my Tauros, and it will be shiny. So if you've not seen my um, shiny Mewtwo hunt that I've already done on the virtual console, uh, and I'm also see as you can see, it has one four one, which isn't one of the values, so I simply reset, and basically that's it. So. Uh, as you can see, none of the stats match there, so yeah. Um, this is actually on a physical copy, I'm on a Game uh, GameCube with a Game Boy Player in, uh, inserted. You guys can hear that, it's a real cartridge, and I'm going to be sending it over to Stadium 2 when I find it as well, so look forward to that. So I'm simply going to reset now and join you guys back when Generation 1 Japanese Shiny Tauros decides to shine. See you guys then. Oh, hold on. Oh, I think I've got it. I think I've just got Shani Tauros. 
HP 135. 111, that's the variable one. The attack, 110, 125, and 85. That's a shiny. No freaking way. I've literally just started this hunting again. It was like three resets after I started it. What? I just got Togepi like half an hour ago. Hold on. Let me just double check. One second. There was literally two resets. Two resets after starting this. HP 14... No, sorry. HP 135. 111. 110. 125. 85. That's a shiny Tauros. What? Oh my god. I'm more... I'm more astounded by the fact that I got this after like two resets after coming back. I left this on pause for so long. And I've just- I've just finished the Shadow Toga behind, and I've just started this again. I can't believe that. That's- I'm more astounded at the fact that I found it so quickly after coming back than any, anything else. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, right, okay. Um, composure. Right, okay, um. I'm gonna just make a quick cut. I'm actually gonna speak to Mark, Shiny Hunter Sandslash. He's gonna confirm this is Shiny for me. I I already know it is, I just wanna make triple sure, because I don't wanna play through this game again, so... Just give me a second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that cut. I'm... Yeah. That's a Shiny. Uh, okay, so... HP 135. Attack 111. Defense 110. Speed 125 and special attack 85. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's a shiny Gen 1 Tauros in my Japanese blue version. Oh, I can't even believe that. Four resets after I get Togepi in Colosseum. I I wasn't gonna hunt tonight. I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm just gonna go play something else. What? Is going on? Seriously, I, I don't. Why am I going outside to show off in a battle? It doesn't even sparkle. Oh my god! Seriously, I can't believe this. All right, I'm just gonna show off in a battle just for fun. <laughs> There's a no duo. There's a Tauros, and that's shiny, but it's got no sparkles. So I guess at this point, I'm just gonna switch over to my. Japanese crystal. Oh, I see save. Saved. I can't believe that. Four resets after I get Togepi. This came after, uh, I think I said 4,952. I stopped this at like, f no. Uh, so no, no, it's 4,954. Four. Sorry. And I started it, I, I left it at 495, uh, 4950, and I've, I've done two resets, uh, sorry, four resets, and I've got it. What? Alright, I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm gonna switch over to, uh, Pokemon Crystal, and then Stadium 2, so, that's crazy! I can't believe it. Shiny hunting, man, you can't make it up, seriously. Alright guys, I'll join you guys back in the next part. Alright guys, you join me back. I'm here in my Pokemon Crystal version, as you can see. It is a Japanese copy, and yeah, I'm going to be trading over my Gen 1 Toro, so I'm just going to start it on this Game Boy here. Okay, I think I should be ready to trade. God, it's been a long time since I've traded in Gen 1 and 2. Okay, there we go. It's a bit of a pain to get this sorted, actually, because uh, you need to like get rid of everything in your party that knows like any Generation 2 moves and HMs and so on and so forth, so... Whoa, that looks weird. Is that glitched? No, I thought it was glitched then for a second. Uh, right, okay, so... I think it's this. I'm gonna trade. I think it's this one. Oh, that's my Blastoise. Sorry, I'm on my Game Boy here. That's my Tauros. 
I'm gonna trade over. If you're wondering how I'm trading, by the way, I've got my... This is connected to my Game Boy player. And I have a Gen 1 and 2 link cable, and I've got my Game Boy Advance, so... Uh, trading... Trading like it's 1999 all over again. Let's take a look. Uh, this hunt was really interesting. I did a lot for this, and then... There's the Taurus! There's the Shiny! I did a lot for this, and then I took like a long break. Um, I just sort of like lost motivation for it, I guess, really, but... Um, wants to do some other hunts, and... I thought this was a really interesting hunt to do, because... Um, it One, it's a cartridge thing. I, I don't have the Japanese copy of... Uh, Pokemon Blue on the Virtual Console, and if you're worried about like losing save data and so on and so forth, don't worry, I can back up my Gen 2 stuff and my Gen 1 stuff, so I'm good, don't worry about that. Okay, I think I'm good. Let's take a look. I'm just gonna turn that off there. It is also holding an item, I think that's a gold berry, but let's take a look. So it has the Japanese summary screen, which is different as well, but there's my shiny Gen 1 Tauros. Sent over to my Japanese copy of Pokemon Crystal. How cool is that, though? Seriously. Let me switch you. How do I switch? How do I switch in this game? Oh, there we go. Okay, second one. Awesome. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show it off in a battle. And the reason why I decided to do this on a cartridge as well, as opposed to virtual consoles, is because... Um, I'm going to be sending this over to Pokemon Stadium 2, and you obviously can't do it. Well, you technically can do it on Gen 2, but on the Virtual Console, but it's a bit difficult and you need different tools and what have you, but... Um, Gen 2 is uh, like one of my favourite generations, honestly. Like, casually, I think it probably is my favourite, but... Uh, let's do an encounter and show you guys the Gen 1 Shiny Taurus. There is a normal Pidgey. Shiny Taurus. <laughs> Arguably the most obscure and bizarre hunt I've ever done, but I'm really happy with this, honestly. It's, it's really interesting. It is maximum like 5% in Gen 2 as well, full odds wise anyway, so I thought this would be like a really interesting video to watch, but uh, yeah. I uh, don't think I've got anything else to say, honestly. Um, I think I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to say. Uh, there's a normal bell sprout and a shiny Gen 1 Tauros. Awesome. Uh, Alright, so I guess at this point what I'm going to do now is uh, jump over to Pokemon Stadium 2, so uh, my save is backed up, like I have it all completely safe, so don't worry about that. I am hunting on a cartridge like I said, but it doesn't matter, I'm safe. So I will join you guys back in the next part, see you guys then. Alright guys, you join me back. I am here with my N64 and I'm here in Pokemon Stadium 2. This is a new thing I'm going to be doing for my channel. I'm going to be doing some Gen 1 cartridge, uh, sorry, Gen 1 and 2 cartridge based hunts. Um, but uh, that is primarily, so well, literally the only reason I do it is because I can play through Stadium 2 as well, which is awesome. So this is all fired up and I'm going to send out my shiny Tauros. It's really hard in Japanese. <laughs> okay, that should be fine. I'm just gonna use it against my drowsy here. There we are, so yeah. Looking forward to this. I think my capture card might kind of flicker a little bit because it's got like a dynamic resolution in, in on the N64, but we'll see. As you can see, there's my shiny Taurus there. It's red in this game, which is interesting. Uh, let's see, B, that's it. So yeah, as you can see there, it's kind of flickering a little bit, but... There's the sparkles, and there is my shiny Gen 1 Tauros, sent over to Crystal, and then sent over to Stadium 2, so... That's freaky. Uh, that's awesome, I'm really happy with that. So yeah, I thought I'd start doing this because... 
Uh, Gen 2 is one of my favorite generations um, to play even like casually, so I want to do some hunts in this game, so yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much all I've got to say at this point, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a bonus. Look forward to uh, more of these in the future, I guess. Um, that's a good shot now, look at that. Awesome. Alright, I will join you guys back in the next video, wherever it is for me. Good luck on all your hunts, and see you guys then.